So for now, it's goodbye Kauai, and we'll see you guys in Oahu. They double booked our room. We scared two teenage girls to death, but we finally made it to our room. We're staying in the Rainbow Tower at the Hilton Waikiki Village or something like that. But here's the view, it's incredible. Look at that, we got our own balcony. This beautiful ocean view over here. Got an extra cot, so we have extra sleeping room. Two beds, TV, little desk, little coffee making station, which is something that I was missing at the last one. Here's the closet. And the bathroom is kind of small, but I mean, okay. it's totally fine. Not a big deal. But yeah, the view is definitely incredible. But we're going to head to dinner right now. We are going down to where those orange little umbrellas are for dinner and drinks and stuff. Never gonna turn my back Even if it takes some time Never gonna leave you behind Girl, you need to know This life means sometimes that we fight At least we're sitting side by side Good morning, you guys, out here First, like, official full day in Wahoo Oh my god, I'm, like, holding you guys over the edge of the balcony Strappy wet, but yeah, first official day out here. It's just so gorgeous. I am currently dressed in a bikini look because Trevor and I are gonna go out to the lagoon while it's still early and there's less people and gonna shoot some content. But today, sorry, I'm so tired. It's actually like 7.40 in the morning. But today we are gonna be doing one of the most exciting days on our agenda for the whole trip. Oh, all right loud helicopter but we are going to be going to Kualoa Ranch which is that scene in Jurassic Park in the valley where all of the dinosaurs are running we're going to be going there and we're actually going to be riding like a group ATV which is going to be so much fun so can't wait for that but that won't be until like 11 or so so beforehand 
We wanted to enjoy the beach and the pool and stuff just a little bit because we didn't really get to yesterday since we got in so late. I mean, I actually at night went down to the pools and stuff. I found two that were like still open till about 10 and I hung out there for a little bit, but haven't really gotten to enjoy it in the daytime yet. So that's the plan for this morning. And then we also saw an actual Starbucks. So maybe we'll go get some coffee as well. I'm not sure yet. We actually do have a coffee maker in this room, which is nice. We didn't have that in the last hotel, so. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure out what we want to do. But I definitely at one point want to get coffee and sit out here on this balcony in the chairs over here and like enjoy my coffee one morning out there. But yeah, I need to go let my parents know what time we need to leave for the ranch. And then we're going to get going to shoot me some lookbook content. Just finished shooting lookbook footage and Trevor and I are going to walk around the facility a little bit. We did last night, but obviously different in the day. But I'll show you guys kind of a little mini tour of this resort it's huge it's freaking massive and encompasses like even all of the shops and everything and there's multiple towers it's it just like keeps spanning it's pretty cool but here's the beach it's like a nice calm beach the waves break out really far so the water up front is just fairly calm and still maybe like some baby waves but nothing too crazy and they've got a little shack here you can do rentals snacks and stuff and there's so many of these ponds with like these blue fish orange fish and then there's some that have koi in it and the koi are beautiful here there's the little Hilton Hawaiian village sign And this is one of the pools. There's two in this area, one here, and then another one over here. Lots of kids in these ones, so I'd stick to the more adult pools, but still, like, no shortage of pools. And I realized I started shooting footage after we had left the lagoon, but I will insert some lookbook footage here so you guys can see what the lagoon looks like. It's really, really beautiful, very calm and still and such a great photo opportunity. But here's also kind of like by the entrance, there's a waterfall, more bluefish. There's so many bluefish. And then that restaurant over there, Tropics, is where we had dinner last night. It has a little market next to it. I think you can get shaved ice and stuff there. I saw a lot of people walking towards our direction with shaved ice yesterday, so I think that's where they're getting it. There's some of like the pretty koi. Let me zoom in. And now we're kind of walking towards like the village part of um, the resort. We were going to go check out Starbucks, but oh my god. Line is massive. I don't know, maybe we'll just do coffee in the room because holy crap. Yeah, I, I, I'd, no I'm okay with the coffee in the room. It's coffee. It's not God. <laughs> okay, fair enough. But yeah, there's like more of the village. There's more shops. Down this way, there's like a Louis Vuitton, a few ABC stores, just like souvenir places and stuff. Holy crap, that's a big guy. Hello. But yeah, for the most part, that is our resort in a nutshell. Well, I promise. Shopping. Yeah, I promise it's a lot bigger because there's so more shops and then there's like, I think five or six Ouch, towers yeah. of like hotel rooms, but that's just like the amenities portion of it. There's also one more pool. Maybe I'll show it to you guys later tonight if we do like a late night dip or something because that's the only pool that's open till like 10.
got done with ATVs. They were so much fun. I didn't realize how many movies were filmed over in that ranch. It's actually pretty cool. But I got like dirt all over my freaking face because it's super dusty if you ever go on it. Just know that. Super, super dusty. Make sure to bring sunglasses. But it was a lot of fun. Like so many great sights really fun to like ride around it's like bumpy and stuff and our tour guide was freaking awesome like bro's got jokes but anyways we're leaving right now i'm not quite sure where we're going but i will fill you guys in once we decide we're back to our resort it's just been a long hell of a day you guys know how it goes vlogs and social media are highlight reel all i'm gonna say is traveling with family is not always the easiest but we made it back to the resort. We're getting ready for dinner right now. I have on this dress, which is so perfect for Hawaii. It's like this white with a brown leaf pattern. It's this trendy little cutout under the boobs type of a style. I'm letting my hair sit in a bun for a little bit. I'm just gonna let it down. It should be in some nice waves. And then I actually put on, like, it's not a lipstick, but it's a lip stain for tonight. And we don't know what we're eating. <laughs> we're trying to figure it out. It's really, really hard here in Waikiki unless you make reservations like days in advance because it's so busy. And even if you have reservations, I've heard that some people are waiting like two hours or something even to get their table with reservations. So we're gonna try to figure out where to eat. I, I have no idea what we're gonna do here, but I'm just like enjoying the breeze and the balcony right now. Trevor's napping, my sister is getting ready. Us three just wanted to get back to our room and decompress and just get ready for dinner and stuff. But we'll meet back up with my parents downstairs for dinner and obviously I'll show you guys where we're going and stuff. I will say though, we ate at Topics last night, which is a bar here in the Hilton. And I mean, if you stay here, just know that bar is freaking awesome. It's so good. Like the food was amazing. Those manila clams I had last night were bomb.com. And our server, his name was Jan, J-A-N, or J-A-A-N. He was amazing. He was super, super awesome. So, I mean, I guess that'll be like our fallback if we really can't think of anywhere else to eat. But we're gonna try to see what else we might be able to get a spot in. eight o'clock in the morning right now and today we're gonna be doing Pearl Harbor then we have a luau tonight but since we don't have to be <laughs> get it <laughs> since we don't have to be at Pearl Harbor till like one o'clock or so we're gonna go enjoy the beach for the morning here. I think we want to go to Lapper's, which is where you guys saw us get ice cream the first night, but we noticed that the coffee selection there was really, really good and we've been wanting to try it. So I think we're gonna stop there, grab some coffee and then take it out to the beach and actually get to enjoy the resort and the beach and the lagoon and stuff because we haven't really gotten to enjoy it that much yet. So that's the plan for this morning, but I'm excited to take Trevor to Pearl Harbor because He's such a history buff and stuff, and I've been, I loved it. It was really beautiful, and it was just kind of like nice to pay your respects there. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel like it's gonna be sad. It is, but it's, it's also beautiful. like, there's a lot of history there and stuff. I'm intrigued. And the memorial that they have there is, is really beautiful. Like, mm -hmm. beautiful as in like, they did a good job paying tribute to Okay, good. Everyone lost there, so. But yeah, so that's the plan for today. And then tomorrow, which is gonna be our last day, we're gonna try to spend most of the day up at the North Shore. But I think my sister and I will try to do a little bit of shopping beforehand, or we might try to do some shopping before we go today. Not quite sure yet, but we'll keep you posted. But for right now, we're gonna finish getting ready and then go grab our coffee and head out to the beach.
Alright, so it's later. I'm out in the hallway, but we got ready for the luau. This is my dress. It's from Shein. Just did my hair really quick. I actually did like some makeup for the luau since it's just kind of like the nicest night. And the luau that we're going to tonight is Jermaine's luau, which is supposed to be one of the best luau's here in Oahu. But the thing is, it's gonna take us an hour to get there, so we have to leave like now. <laughs> I just finished getting ready, wanted to show you guys, let you guys know where we're going. I'm really excited, I love luau's. I feel like we haven't gotten to do any like truly traditional Hawaiian things on this trip yet, so I'm really excited for tonight. day here in Oahu and for this afternoon we're actually going to head out to the North Shore and kind of spend the whole afternoon out there but beforehand meeting up with my sister she's downstairs already but we are going to go to the mall over here and I don't think I told you guys or mentioned it but yesterday morning when I woke up I had hit 3,000 subscribers on YouTube so thank you guys very much for that but I figured while I'm here in Hawaii, the taxes are much lower. I'm gonna treat myself to a little something at Chanel. So, taking you guys with me to go do a little luxury shopping here in the morning. If your dude knew you was coming over, that would be a problem. If our friends knew undercover love and they would try to solve it. So I had to book it to a different Chanel because the one at the mall had an event going on until 3.30 today. And we're gonna be in the North Shore this afternoon. So I'm here at the other one. It opens at noon, which is cutting it close because it's about 10 minutes from our hotel, but I think I'll make it back. But I do need to change my shorts because this damn bag from the cookie corner rubbed off onto my shorts and there's red all over them. So that's fantastic. But hopefully they have my sunglasses. If not, I'm very sad. So Chanel no longer carries the style of sunglasses that I wanted in store. 
so that's kind of a letdown and like a whole run around for no reason but i'm running over to coach there's the bag that i have wanted from coach for a while so i'm gonna get that instead and then i'll just have to order the sunglasses when i get back home y'all i struck out two times the coach store over here in waikiki is shut down I could have gone to the coach store at Ala Moana had the Chanel store there been open to let me know that they don't sell the style I want in store anymore. But I'm in the wrong spot now. So I am just heading back to the hotel and we're gonna head to the North Shore. I'm like really bummed. Depending on what time we get back, if it's if we get back by six or so, I may have them just drop me off at the mall on the way back and go to the coach store there or even maybe Nordstrom or Neiman Marcus or something because I know that those stores do carry the Chanel sunglasses style that I want but just the Chanel boutiques themselves apparently don't carry it anymore so kind of bummed but we'll get something I promise <laughs> Summer breeze when I fall Like autumn leaves Wouldn't it be nice To grow all together Cause you're crawling Out to me But there's somewhere I gotta be Wouldn't it be nice To tell me what's better Priorities change But people never do We got Japanese food was one of the best meals that I've had personally. I wanted to do more of this kind of like hole in the wall or food truck kind of food experiences. So I'm really glad we got to do that tonight and it was delicious. But now we are heading back to our hotel and I think our hotel has a shaved ice place. So we're gonna maybe try to get dessert there. So change of plans on the shaved ice. I'm skipping it because I noticed Nordstrom is actually open till nine. So my family dropped me off here in the mall. I am booking it to Nordstrom. It's about 8.15, so I don't really have to book it, but I am hurrying to Nordstrom. And they carry Chanel sunglasses, and even if not, I'm just gonna get myself a designer pair of sunglasses because I've been wanting a new designer pair for a while and I wanted to do it in Hawaii. So I'm determined we are getting sunglasses tonight, assuming Nordstrom is open, which it looks like it's open, so fingers crossed. Back in the room, and we're gonna try our cookies from the cookie corner. My sister's been raving about this place all trip, so I got Trevor and I a chocolate chip cookie each. So here's what they look like. They're nice and thick. Here you go, babe. Thanks. How is it? You asked me before I even got my How mouth. is it? Pretty good. Nice. Excuse my appearance, I just got out of the shower, but. Mmm, it's good. I thought it was gonna be crunchier, which I'm happy that it's not, so. Me too. Yeah, I'm really glad that it's softer than I thought it was gonna be. But I did end up getting what I was looking for at Nordstrom. I'm not gonna unbox it right now. 
I'm just tired and stuff, but tomorrow we are flying out of Oahu, so maybe in the morning, or definitely in the morning before we leave, we'll do a little unboxing out on the balcony out here. Good morning, you guys. It is our last morning. We're gonna head out to the airport in probably three hours or so, but I wanted to, of course, unbox what I got for you guys, my new Chanel sunglasses. Don't wanna leave you hanging, so I'm out here on the balcony. I'm kind of enjoying one last little view this morning of the resort and everything but we can go ahead and get to unboxing this touch you guys up a little bit so as i mentioned i got it from nordstrom which i was thinking about it and like as much as i had wanted the chanel experience i actually don't mind that i got from nordstrom just because i know that this sale meant more to that salesperson than it would have for someone at chanel because the sunglasses aren't like one of their more expensive sunglasses so you know someone at chanel would have just been like oh this is a whatever purchase but for someone at nordstrom this was a really really big purchase for their sales so i know that i definitely made someone's day help to either make their minimum or boosted their commission or something especially at the end of the day in the last hour so i feel really good about that coming full circle with me working at nordstrom in the sunglass department i know how much a sale like this can really impact your day so in that sense i am glad about it i am sad that i didn't get a little chanel shopping bag and stuff but it's all good at the end of the day really what am i going to do with it all of my designer shopping bags are stuffed in the closet anyways but Anyways, so here's the box for the sunglasses. It says Chanel along the front. And then, I actually really love the case. So back in the day when I worked at Chanel, it was like a big, fat, hard case. But I like this because it's like an envelope case. It's a little bit sleeker and it's a lot softer. But the front has Chanel etched right into it here or embossed in. And then the back is that classic Chanel quilting and it carries on through the front where you open up the case. And then it does come with a little wipe. The wipe is white on this one. And that comes with a little Chanel book, which this is a lot of information for just some sunglasses. But the inside of the sunglass case is also lined with, it's like almost like a velvet. It's really, really nice. It says Chanel up here at the top as well. And then here are the sunglasses. This is just a super, super classic pair. I believe on the website for Chanel, it even just calls them their square sunglasses. And also too, the girl at Nordstrom was actually really surprised that Chanel doesn't carry this anymore because, and I remembered it when she, when she said it from back when I worked there. This style of Chanel sunglasses is a style that people come back and they replace over and over again. Like they'll wear out their old pair and come back and buy a new one of the exact same one. So it is kind of surprising that Chanel doesn't like keep it stocked since it is just such a classic favorite. But they're kind of like a square sunglass with a little bit of like a cat eye or a wayfair style it has chanel etched right here into the lens then when you open it up the legs have the classic white cc's on the side the original pair that i had been looking at was actually a brown pair and it was like a dark chocolate brown it almost looked black and i almost got those ones but i just decided to opt for the classic black i knew that i wasn't gonna go wrong with the classic black even though the brown ones were a little bit more unique i just know that this is a pair that i for sure i'm gonna like wear all the time i'm not gonna get tired of because you know black sunglasses how can you get tired of those but go ahead and try them on for you guys you guys have better look here so here is what they look like on i am obsessed with them i love them so much they are so cute and again just so classic just a style that you know is gonna be totally timeless and you can wear all the time with any outfit or anything so I love them they fit very comfortably and I'm so glad that I was able to get my hands on them here because on top of the lower tax rate I actually also had a Nordstrom note so that worked out perfectly but one thing that the sales girl at Louis Vuitton was telling us yesterday when we were in there for my sister is that it wasn't true for Nordstrom because Nordstrom pricing is just the same across the board but like for like Louis Vuitton directly and I think a few other designer brands besides the lower tax rate their items directly in the designer stores are priced 8 to 10 percent lower in Hawaii than they are in the mainland I forgot the reason why but that was actually kind of cool so the stuff my sister got she got a huge discount on but yeah here are the sunglasses super happy with them I'll be rocking them today as we're traveling because I want to carry them with me and I'm just like excited to wear them but 
yeah, I think that that's gonna be it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed coming to Oahu with me. Again, if you guys missed the Kauai vlog, which is where we went first, make sure to check that out. And make sure to like and comment on this video. And if you're new, please make sure to subscribe. But I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys back on the mainland.